Hello and welcome once again to CanonBlogger.com, home of the Learning Digital Photography Podcast. I'm gonna ha I have a little video tutorial here, or a little video demo here, uh, inside today's blog post because I'm primarily showing you and demonstrating to you the ability of Lightroom 3 Beta 2 to import and manage your video files, which is a big improvement over the Lightroom 3 Beta 1. And I haven't, you notice I don't have any catalogs or anything set up yet, I want to do this straight from scratch so you could see how this is going to work is you're going to basically going to treat it like any other asset inside your catalogs. This is really just for management. You're not going to be doing any editing of your photos in here. It's more just like a miniature preview, if you will. Uh, same kind of thing that Lightroom does for uh, for photographs as well. Although Lightroom is really dedicated as a photo editing application now, I just don't see them moving to include video as an editable file inside of Lightroom just because that's beyond the scope of what the program is supposed to do. So in Windows I'm going to use this little drop down to select a source and I am going to select some videos that are in a subfolder of my Drobo. And I'm going to add them. Make sure they're all checked and then I'm going to import. And it's going to take it just a minute or two to import the files at their current location. And again, it's just like any other asset. They aren't being moved. You're not going to be doing any editing of the video inside of Lightroom. It's more of just a management utility. So uh, don't misconstrue the purpose of the video import function here. It's just so you can preview it and manage your assets accordingly. And once these get imported, you'll notice another cool little feature in how you can tell their videos is that there's going to be a little timestamp down here that shows you how long the video is and I'll show it for all the videos and it'll have that little video icon and you notice when I just moused over that I also can play the video and it'll play in my default viewer another neat little thing here about these videos is you can um, manage them just like you can manage other uh, assets in your library so for example if I want to flag that as a pick I could do so with that I could also tag it if I wanted to set a rating on it, I could do that as well. I can set it to a rating of three stars. I can do all sorts of different things. And the cool thing is also the ability to open with the default video player application for your setup. For me, that happens to be QuickTime here on both environments. And here it is opening up this video in QuickTime. You're probably not going to be able to hear very much because there isn't a lot of audio on this specific recording. But you can see it playing right there in the background as I'm talking. And this is a little video I did on uh, reviewing the uh, Drobo that I am now using for my production environment. So um, that just gives you a little preview of what it's like to play video inside of Lightroom. Uh, fair warning, this is still a beta program. It's, uh, this shouldn't be used for production purposes. And before anyone asks, you really also want to be careful about the assets that you put in here. You cannot import your Lightroom 2 catalogs, and that's with good reason because that's the last stable build, uh, Lightroom 2.6. You don't want to be moving to your production work inside of a beta environment. Beta is really meant for testing and for additional feedback for the developers. So if you have any problems or come across any issues, feel free to uh, let the folks over at Adobe know. But there is a quick little tutorial for you or quick little demo for you about what's new in Lightroom 3 Beta 2. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time here at Learning Digital Photography.